Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe. Centronet here with episode number 31 of Broke Rock SMP here on good old Bedrock Edition. And I, my friends, have been AFK for a long time on the server. I decided it's time to start working on a new project. But for that, I need a certain type of block. And it's not the one that we're doing right now, but I was already over here, so I figured I would do a little bit of work over here in our nether wart farm. I have not been AFK over here in absolutely forever. I have not been collecting nether wart, but somebody has. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. They were kind enough to leave a note, but they forgot to sign it. We need to figure out who it is, but I'm not on an adventurous type mood today. Today I wanna get some work done on the Brook Rock server, but look. I have been using your farm. Sorry for not asking. <laughs> and then there was some kind of uh, gold nugget clue thing. Hmm. We're going to have to figure out a world inside of a world. Better hurry as fast as you can. Hmm. I think we're going to save that. But if you guys could let me know down in the comments some ideas as to what on earth that means, because I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments if you guys know what's going on. Don't ruin the secret, but point me in the right direction. What is a world within a world? I have no idea. All right. So I have been AFK. I've been standing right here for like two real life days because... I wanted to do something a little bit different with the kelp farm. So that used to be the chest, and it actually still is the chest where everything comes out of the farm, but I went ahead and added some hoppers. I added a couple of fern eye, and I have been cooking this stuff and turning it into blocks. This takes forever. We need a super smelter. So I threatened you guys a very long time ago to have a design, and we were gonna build one, and yeah, what? What does that mean? Hang on, I'm distracted by my own house. Wings of End flew by and left this for you, ordered by Wings of End and carried out by Mustang Girl. With the help, will help clean up, mess up. Yes, I do remember this. I saw her video. <laughs> Go check out Mustang Girl's videos because she's absolutely awesome. She's an amazing friend, but yes, she's the one that pooped on the building. Mustang Girl, you're actually responsible for me. Uh... Shh, everyone. Remember, the broke rockers don't remember where I'm building. But she is the reason that I decided to uh, build the new thing. Uh, these dirt blocks is just me being really paranoid. Uh, I'm still afraid they're going to break through the doors and come get me. But aside from that, I've made a couple of other changes downstairs. And we're going to go down there in a minute. But first, I'm going to grab a couple of things. I want one of those. Wow, this farm is... Too good? I can't even put those pumpkins back. Where'd the... Where'd the what? Did I just lose blocks? Did you guys see that? Where'd they go? They're gone. Okay, moving right along. Let's go inside the house. I want to see if I have some supplies. Because I want to go downstairs and put something in. I don't know where anything is in my house. All right, let's run a little bit more here. Upstairs we go. So on one of these sides, gardening supplies. So this one's tools and stuff, right? Oh no, seeds. Uh, is what I'm looking for, uh, is it a plant? I can't open that chest. Hmm. Oh, I didn't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> it just put the rest of them in my inventory. I forgot that those things were stackable. All right. Let's go over here. I need to find some... Uh, it's food pantry. All right, so all the ores and stuff are all upstairs. My dog is barking in the back. Sounds really excited because he's happy I'm making another Broke Rock video. Is that going to be enough? How many... Crafting table here in the middle. Don't click on the, what are they called? Pressure plate that's on top. So I want one, two, three, four of those. And you Minecraft natives out there, I think you're already going to know what I'm going to make. But do I need two more? I'll grab two more. 
Because what I don't remember... <clears throat> Sorry, throat got dry. What I don't remember is if the pumpkin needs to be smiling or not. All right, so all the wood stuff is over here. Oh, we're doing acacia downstairs, right? Come on, where are you? <clears throat> Grab a stock of logs because I'm, I don't know, probably too lazy to go through it all. Plants, flowers. Do you have any cactus? I can't believe I don't have a cactus farm this late in the season. But good news is we have cactus. Uh, let's see. One, two ought to do it. We've got logs, which will be enough to get us through the other stuff. All right, I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to do a cut. We're moving a little bit too slow, so I will cut this real quick, and I'll see you downstairs. I'll be right back. And we're back. Falling into our hole of doom. I really do have to build a way eventually to get up and down. Oh, man, I wanted to show you guys something when I was falling. I completely missed it. So we're just going to climb up a little bit because I was reading through your comments on the last episode. And guys, you said that I should use, what are they called? Smooth stone slabs. I had to look because I, I think, weren't they just called stone slabs before? I don't know. This game has changed so much. Speaking of changes, you know, my first full series was Four Pillar Survival. And I've had a lot of problems with Four Pillar Survival as it's progressed through the updates in the game. And I recently dropped a trailer on the channel. We are going to take two on that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to actually uh, restart it. Which is something I'm really excited about. The trailer was a lot of fun to make. I actually think it was probably one of the funniest things I've ever done. Eh, it was just goofy and awesome and... I don't know, the uh, the comments in that video were quite entertaining, especially from my buddy Wings, because he, uh, yeah, it related to some of the things he's done to me. You can almost say that he inspired that trailer. But go check it out. There's going to be a link down in the description, and if I'm really good at what I'm doing, there's also going to be one of those cards that has a link over to that trailer. And if you guys haven't seen that series, it was a blast. I had just... An amazing time working on that. It taught me a lot about Minecraft and uh, recording. Uh, I will tell you, those sky maps, being able to do commentary and stuff on those, that is quite, uh, yeah, quite interesting. <laughs> but I love sky maps. They're really just awesome. But make sure you guys go check out the trailer. All right. I am really, really, really liking the Smooth Stone slabs here. You know, this isn't really a block that I've worked with a whole lot. I knew what they were. I like them. They look pretty. You know, I play with my kids a lot and we'll do creative builds. And that is a block I would use in a creative build. But it, I just, I never would have thought to do it down here. And I think that this looks much better than that. I'm not saying we're going to go and redo the other places where we've used it, but we're probably going to redo the, <laughs> the surface where we used that block before, like over in the nether. But I'm staying out of the nether for now. People on realms are having a lot of problems with portals. We play on an insanely powerful server, and we're usually not affected by the stuff that the realms players are affected by. But I don't want to go to the nether and uh, try it out. I'm just not in the mood. I want to kick back, relax, and just have fun playing Minecraft without getting frustrated with things that may happen in the game. But I know everyone else has been on, and I haven't seen any of the broke rockers complain. But, you know, some of the realm players, all of the realm players have been complaining about it. So it could be just another benefit of playing on a server. All right, I just want to get this last little leg here done, and then we will see if I'm right about this looking better or not. And of course, you guys can let me know down in the comments, but I don't know. We're going to have a couple of layers of mines. I want to finish out the bottom part. I really do, because in the next episode, what I want to and what we need to start doing is we have to get working on the farms. We're going to do the super smelter and the fuel source first. All right, let's see. Can we do this? Uh, move the slabs 
grab the rockets, but I think I left a slab over here. I'm going to be stingy because it is me. I don't want to give up blocks. So let's see if we can't fly a bit. And is this, is this a new thing? Like you hitting a wall stops you from flying? I don't know. Oh yes, that is so much better. That is exactly what we're going to do all the way around this. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, when I did my math, I want to have two more layers of mines on top of it. And it's because of blocks. We, we're going to want different kinds of blocks. We know that we're going to get a lot of iron there. We're going to get a lot of coal there. Uh, we should get some redstone, but no diamonds, obviously, after we go up above this level here. Yeah, I think they changed something. I don't remember crashing into walls and falling. I don't know. All right, I'm going to build up uh, two more layers of this really quick, and I'll be right back. And we're back. I'm in my favorite corner on the Broke Rock server again. So I've been doing the AFK thing. Over here at the Kelpin Smelterator 5 billion. I don't know. We need to come up with a name for this. This thing is rocking and rolling, so I've got a bunch of kelp blocks in my inventory. And we still haven't cleaned this out. This thing just cranks away. I can't believe that I get so much kelp from such a small compact farm. I love this thing. You guys love the tutorial too. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Do I need any of these blocks? All right. I emptied out my inventory because I had to do the AFK thing. Uh, do I have space anywhere for... Let me get rid of this and I'll grab my rockets. We don't need any more arrows. Let's go back downstairs. I have been really busy. Let me show you guys what I've been up to. You know what else? It's probably time to empty out this. Yeah, it's it's full full. I love this farm. <laughs> and that's by far the best uh, performing tutorial that I have on my channel. You guys love it and I'm glad you do. All right, where's my hidden ladder? Here we go. Uh, if you look at my levels, I died, guys, flying around. I'm telling you, something changed with flying. But look at this. I got a couple more layers done. Can we land? Can we land? We landed. No death this time. I got a couple of more layers done. This is going to be as far up as we go with the mining levels. And then from here, it's going to be farms and automatic magicness all the way up to the top. Let's go ahead and go on down and we can see what this looks like. So I finished putting the fences up all the way around. You guys love the lanterns, so I did those all the way. And I got a bunch of feedback from you guys on what I should do behind them. Some of you said leave them the way they are, you know, the way the pieces line up. Some of you said uh, replace it with certain types of ores or cobblestone, that kind of stuff. For right now, I think what I want to do is I want to leave it just the way it is. We are going to have to come down here and spend a lot of time mining. So we'll see what it looks like with all the tunnels in place. But I really, really, really like this. I think this turned out really cool. I am very happy. But we've got one more little itty bitty project to do before we close out the episode today. And some of you guys already know what I'm doing if you saw the stuff that I was collecting. So let's see. This is going to be the center. Uh, is there any room in this chest for me to hide stuff? Because my inventory, as usual, is an absolute disaster. <laughs> Let's see, there's the middle, and then we're going to come up by two and that. One, two, three. I have not built one of these guys in a long time, but this used to be the way that I did all of these farms on the Xbox version of the game. And, well, obviously on this one too. I just, I haven't built... One of these farms in a long time why is my inventory such a disaster uh, you would think it's my first time right but it's not am i making this hole too big i'm probably making the hole too big but that's fine we can make it a little bit smaller once we get to where we want to go now i'm not expecting for this thing to be super efficient i just want it to catch what uh what goes up let's see I do want to do something with the floor. We've got to figure out what we're going to do with the floor. Because I really don't know. <gasps> I forgot an important block for this mess, didn't I? All right, I'll be right back. I got to grab a block. And we're back. I forgot sand and cactus. So actually I had to go upstairs twice. But I think now you guys know exactly what we're going to do here. So we're going to pop our, cact or our 
stand in the middle. Um, what was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, did it just hit daytime? Yeah, I I need to sleep because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the uh, the what call it's the phantoms are looking for me. All right, so we got our cactus there. We've got a slab. And let's go ahead and get our collection in. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot out of this, but I do think it's worthwhile to do because why not? We have the opportunity to get slime. Let's get slime. So those of you that have done this before, it's pretty basic. Uh, we're going to put an iron golem on top of this. The slimes are going to spawn. They're going to see that iron golem. They're not going to want to be his friend and they're going to go after him. <laughs> uh, the hoppers are going to be here after the slime because they're not very smart rub up against the cactus their slimy goodness is going to drop and they're going to fall in the hoppers and then from there that goes into the chest yep doesn't have to be anything super pretty I'm not going to put carpets down or anything like that we're just going to leave it exactly how it is uh, we might come back and dress up the floor down here because like I said I still want to do something different with the floor and let's see, did I bring fences with me? Boy, I'm not prepared for anything, am I? All right, I've got enough fences. Okay, we're good. All right, let's go ahead and pillar up here. Probably gonna have to go up higher. What do we have? We've just got a mess of blocks. <laughs> my inventory is an absolute disaster. Oh, you would think it was my first time playing this game, but I promise it's not. All right, so that and that and that. Now, is it going to be a problem to get the Iron Golem to spawn there? I don't know. We will find out in a moment. All right, come on. Can you go a little bit faster? All right, we're good there. So, if memory serves me right, it is simply one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, and then we put a pumpkin on top of you. Hopefully, boom. Nope. Alright, do we have to carve the face? Nyah. Nope. How do I do it? I don't remember! Uh, let me... What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? What if I do that? Is it because he's attached to stuff? Uh, I've got no way to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I am a little rusty. I don't know. Can I jump up here? No. I have any more blocks? Oh! Wings put those in my, my, my inventory. It had to have been him. Alright, so... Inventory management. Maybe I should teach a class on that. Yep, okay. And then you fell down there. That's not where I wanted you to go. All right, let's figure out how to get him up there. Let's do this as a time lapse.
Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep, I am the master at this game. Not. Oh, boy. We got him in there eventually. I did end up having to make a new one. For those of you that were just jamming to the music and weren't watching. Uh, so we have a stray one floating around here. We're going to have to uh, uninvite him to the party. We'll do that in a minute. I did have to use diorite. I didn't like using the diorite. Goodbye. Alright, and I think I broke a chest or two when I was trying to clean this up. Yeah, poppers and stuff. So let's get that fixed up real quick. And then we should be good now. So they're going to see him. They're going to want to come over and talk. They're going to jump up and down, and they're going to rub up against this. It's going to kill them, and then we're going to get some good old slime balls down in the bottom. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, where is that other golem? Where'd he go? I hear him. Okay. All right. It's time for a little bit of lava extermination. Uh, where are you, buddy? Oh, nope. Come here. Stop moving around so much. Hey, 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 hey. I want you to swim in that. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, it's a manual iron farm. Hello there, buddy. Are you going to give me all the iron back that I wasted on creating you? You're not, are you? Come on, time to clean up the mess. So while he's burning away slowly, grab some torches because I am concerned I created some spawnable spots. Like here. Again, this won't affect anything, because torches do not affect the slimes. They don't care about light, and they don't care about torches. Why? Goodness gracious. Hey, that actually surprised me that I could put a torch there and the cactus didn't pop up. Cacti? What are we supposed to call them? I don't know. Hello there, buddy. Come on. Don't. Oh. Why didn't he set me on fire, I wonder? You don't think he would, right? I don't want to burn the place down. Come on, go this way. Go this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Nice. No iron. <laughs> I was hoping to get some return on my investment, but I need to clean up the mess around here. Look at that stray block right there. Hey, buddy, can you pick that up and throw it to me? Please? No, he can't. All right. Well, we got the mining levels done. I'm really excited about this because I do have to get some mining done. We need to get some blocks. I want some other blocks other than cobble and stone, which I've got a great farm for that upstairs. So we can start working in the next episode on our fuel source and also the super smelter. It's going to be awesome. And I'll keep you guys posted on what kind of output we see in this thing because it produces cobble and acacia. That's really nice. Yeah, I got to get all my junk out of here. I grab everything. Uh, that's junk. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. If you liked the episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you loved it, make sure you subscribe. And check out the trailer for take two of Four Pillars Survival. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue to crank and get stuff done here on the Broke Rock server. Thank you, everybody. And this is Centronet, and I'm out.